right guys in this video we are going to discuss about the differences between full pitch winding and short pitch winding what are the advantages of short pitch winding and what are the angles like a short pitch angle coil span and coil span pitch what are the different nomenclatures we have here let's see first of all the full pitch winding nothing but the winding in which the pole pitch is exactly equals to 180 degrees that type of winding is called full pitch winding or the winding in which the coil span which i denoted at a gamma the coil span is equals to 180 degrees such type of winding is called full pitch winding then what is short pitch winding the winding in which the pole pitch is less than 180 degrees the coil in which the coil span which denotes with gamma is less than 180 degrees is called short pitch winding generally in full pitch winding we have a much coil span that's why emf is more in short pitch winding the coil span length reduced that's why emf induced in the short pitch winding is less yes or no guys so in full pitch winding emf is more in short pitch winding emf is less even though we are using short pitch winding why because why because of course in full pitch winding emf more but not a sinusoidal simply of course here emf less but sinusoidal that's why we are using short pitch winding other than the full pitch winding and here the question sir why this is not sinusoidal this is not sinusoidal because of harmonics or because of lower order harmonics what are the lower order harmonics generally we have many harmonics like if one is the fundamental then 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on all these are the harmonics but practically for sinusoidal or for symmetrical waveforms the even harmonics are automatically eliminated automatically nullified so now we have the harmonics third harmonics fifth harmonics seventh harmonics ninth harmonics 11th 13th 15th 17th 19th and so on these are the harmonics what we have in generally generally about uh, even order harmonics we can't get the concept of even order harmonics except to transformer that is somewhat depth concept what is that magnetic inrush currents at switching transient concept the second harmonics are richest harmonics because the waveform is unsymmetrical to x axis at uh, at magnetic inrush currents the waveform is unsymmetrical to x axis in transient state in transient state the second harmonics are the richest harmonics that is only the one concept other than that we can't get a concept for even harmonics then after in generally we have the harmonics nothing but the odd harmonics in this the 3 5 7 are called lower order harmonics and the remaining are called higher order harmonics so so here emf is not sinusoidal because of lower order harmonics which is called third fifth and seventh order harmonics these are called lower order harmonics so in full pitch winding the emf is sinusoidal or not not sinusoidal why because because of lower order harmonics then how we can get the sinusoidal emf in short pitch winding in short pitch winding emf is sinusoidal because can you tell me because lower order harmonics eliminated here lower order harmonics eliminated that's why here the emf is a sinusoidal this is the thing so 
the lower order harmonics nothing but 3 5 7 harmonics now we need to eliminate the harmonics by using the short pitch winding then we can get the sinusoidal emf yes or no so let's take one simple example here <coughs> for example a three phase 50 hertz six pole 36 slots alternator 36 slots alternator let's see this example how many poles are there here here six poles are there these are my six poles how many slots are there here 36 slots are there what is slots per pole slots per pole nothing but 36 out of 6 so each pole should have 6 slots nothing but let's see here 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 these are the 6 slots for each pole what is the slot angle you know already just we discussed the slot angle formula the slot angle beta is equals to 180 upon slots per pole that is 180 upon slots per pole slots per pole 6 so that is nothing but the 30 degrees the each slot angle is 30 degrees how many slots are there? 6 slots are there. Each slot 30 degrees. So, the coil span is 180 degrees. What I told you already, if the coil span is 180 degrees, such type of windings are called full pitch windings. Yes or no guys? So, here coil span is 180 degrees. What is the short pitch angle? Do you know? short pitch angle the short pitch angle denotes with alpha here alpha is equals to 0 degrees there is no any short pitching here that's why it is called full pitch winding and always the short pitch angle and the coil span 100% should be equals to 180 degrees here the coil span is 180 degrees but the short pitch angle is 0 degrees such a type of winding is called full pitch winding the coil span is less than 180 degrees and the short pitch angle is greater than 0 degrees such a type of windings are called short pitch windings here the short pitch angle is zero degrees guys okay simply this is what about the full pitch winding let's take the example for this short pitch winding I am taking the same example here for easy understanding a three phase 50 hertz six pole 36 slots alternator this is my alternator short pitched by or charded by we can say charded by this is short pitched by two slots they mentioned that in the question they mentioned that this is short pitched by two slots then tell me simply how many number of slots are there actually 36 number of slots are there how many poles are there actually six poles are there what is the slots per pole slots per pole is equals to 36 out of 6 which is equal to 6 actually but they given the short pitched slots are 2 here alpha is equals to 2 slots let's see let's analyze here for example six poles are there here also how many poles are there? Six poles are there. In that, how many slots per each pole? For each pole, actually, I have to place six slots. But in the question, they mentioned that two slots are short pitched. From this, I am going to short pitch two slots. Alpha is the two slots. Then what is the gamma? The coil span gamma is equals to just four slots, guys. Now the four slots is the coil span. What is the slot angle? 
द स्लैट एंगल बीटा एज यूजल सर स्लैट एंगल बीटा इज इक्वल टू वन एटी अपॉन स्लैट्स पर पोल वन एटी अपॉन स्लैट्स पर पोल नथिंग बट थर्टी डिग्रीज हियर फोर स्लैट्स आर देर ईच ऑफ थर्टी डिग्रीज सो फोर स्लैट्स ईच ऑफ थर्टी डिग्रीज विच इज इक्वल्स टू वन ट्वेंटी डिग्रीज विच इज लेस देन वन एटी डिग्रीज सच टाइप ऑफ वाइंडिंग इज कॉल्ड शॉर्ट पिच वाइंडिंग एंड हियर and here alpha alpha is the two slats each slat angle is 30 degrees i short pitched two slats each of 30 degrees then what is the value is the 60 degrees which is greater than 0 degrees this is what short pitch angle and what we have to observe always alpha plus gamma should be equals to 180 degrees this is 120 this is 60 120 plus 60 is exactly equals to 180 degrees this is what the full pitch winding and short pitch winding differences okay guys let's see how we can reduce the harmonics and what is the pitch factor or coil span factor or chording factor that is very important numerical based theoretically based this is important numerical based the next concept is important let's go for next concept <laughs>